Hi beauties, welcome back to the Oval Beauty channel. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos, supporting me. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate all the love and I do appreciate all the comments that you guys leave as well. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I really do enjoy doing these videos and bringing some content to you that you might not be seeing um, elsewhere or just some content that you probably just don't know about or you probably weren't interested about until um watching my channel but i do want to talk to you guys a lot more about you know makeup in general vegan makeup cruelty free makeup and makeup brands that are making a staple in the industry but also makeup brands that are just using less harsh chemicals in their products because that's very important especially if you're putting products on your skin um and you want to make sure that it has less chemicals in it because makeup can cause cancer um, makeup can cause um, outbreaks in the skin um, you know depending on your skin type if you have normal to dry or oily or combination skin um, basically makeup can definitely affect that so what I've started to do is use more makeup that is less cruel to animals that is also vegan and that also um, I am trending more towards makeup that has less harsh chemicals. Um, some of the brands that I'm going to talk about are EWG Verified and EWG is a website that you can go on to and check out different makeup brands. You can just type them in They'll be able to give you more in depth um, about, you know, the chances of, you know, cancer causing makeup or cancer causing ingredients in the products and you'll be able to kind of see a little bit more about that. I won't get too much into that in this video, but I'll definitely put the link in the description bar below so that you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Obviously, everyone loves the staple brands, you know, the MAC Cosmetics, um, Morphe and um, Urban Decay and just all the staple brands that are out there. Everyone loves them, but you want to make sure that you're treating your skin as best as possible as you can so that's why i wanted to give you guys a little update on some of the lipsticks that i found out there that will definitely work for a deeper skin tone um that looks really good and has less harsh chemicals in them so i definitely wanted to bring that to your attention um so i obviously don't have any lipstick on right now i'm gonna put some lipstick on i'm gonna put the liner on that i got and then i'll show you kind of what i bought and what products I will be using in this video. So without further ado, I'm going to show you some of the lipsticks. This one actually is one that I have worn on here before, but I have never really talked too much about lipsticks, but this one is not called Vox, which I've been calling it Vox and it has been wrong. Um, it's actually called XOX, so I don't really know how that is said. Um, I mean, I would just say it's called XOX because I don't know how else to say how else to say that. But I also have um, a lip liner from Pacifica, and XOX is also from Pacifica as well. So if you can see that, and this liner is from Pacifica. So this liner is a brown liner, and that's just basically what I'm going to use to line my lips with. Um, the name of this liner. It's called Fringe, and it came in this box. So it's a cute little box. Um, I love their packaging. I probably have said that a million times before, but I absolutely love their packaging. So I'm just going to put this liner on, and it's very pigmented. This is my first time using this. It's very pigmented. So I usually line my lips when I'm trying to put on a lighter shade. Sometimes I will overdraw my lips too, but I'm not gonna overdraw my lips in this video. So XOX is the color, and it's this color here. Um, as you can see, I've used it before, so there's still some brown um, liner on it from, from before. So I'm just gonna put this on, and you'll see this color. And it, the texture of this lipstick, it's so creamy. And you can kind of just like layer it on. It's so creamy. It has like this sheer kind of look to it. Um, it feels absolutely amazing on your lips. It gives your look like just such the most natural, just calm, 
look and it's just not too much it's not too aggressive of a look it's literally just this really pretty pink um, that you can wear with kind of anything. It's just a, like a natural pink looking shade. And it also is perfect for darker skin tones. Um, and it just, it just is amazing. I don't know. I love it. I love this one. I was so happy when I bought it because it was one of those buys that it's like, do you really buy this? What if it doesn't look right on you? What if it doesn't look right on your skin tone? How am I supposed to really figure it out? And I was like, you know, what? I'm just going to take a leap of faith. Pacifica, their brand is just so amazing and they just do such a good job and they really do um, include darker skin tones and um, models on their page that are of darker skin tones, which is pretty awesome, especially because, I mean, why would you go and buy from a product that you just don't know is going to work for you? And that's a lot of the challenges that I've had going out into the marketplace and finding products that just aren't aren't gonna work for me so i just have to say you know what i'm gonna go and buy with a brand that actually um includes me and is a vegan brand which i'm in love with their brand um but i also want to um talk about some other brands today too but i feel like with the other brands um I, don't, I personally don't feel like they're as inclusive or they don't have as many shade ranges that I would actually wear but you know that's okay because you know you can't can't win them all so basically I'm just gonna wipe this off but as you can see it literally just wipes off so easily and I am not using a um I'm not using I'm just using like a napkin I'm not even using uh, makeup wipes. I'm just using a napkin. But what I do love about this is this lipstick is waterproof. This um, liner is waterproof. And you can use it for your eyes. You can use it for your um, lips. It's a face and lips liner. So that's pretty exciting. I feel like I've always been like, oh, because I'm going to the beach for my wedding, blah, blah, blah. Um, that's why I need waterproof stuff. And yeah, that's why I need waterproof stuff. <laughs> um, but the next one that I'm trying on from Pacifica is Tenderness. So you probably can't see that, but whatever. It says Tenderness. And this lipstick, you can see that color here. It's more of a pinky nude kind of color it's different from the um this color I, it's funny because i think um some of my friends are probably just like sasha buys the same color lipstick all the time but they're different even though they're nude they're different they're different colors they're pinky nudes that's like my favorite color to buy um and then this goes on this one is really creamy. This one is really creamy. And as you can see, it's a little bit more pink than the other one. Oh my. Sorry. <laughs> it smells so good. I just got I just got this one. And it just smells good. It smells like cinnamon or nutmeg. Huh. I mean, I don't know what ingredients they put in um, as far as like if it's like some sort of cinnamon or nutmeg. It just smells so good. But I just love this one. Look how pretty that is. And then I could just even line that here. Mm. Mm. I just love that. <clears throat> How pretty is this color? So in love, like, oh my goodness. It just is like such a glamorous pink and I love pink and it just comes out so pretty on my lips. Mm. Yes, anyways. Um, falling in love with Pacifica all over again. Um, hire me. <laughs> but anyway.
That's why I love them. But anyway, here is this liner again. And as you can see, I'm just lining my lips. Oops, I think I have some lipstick still on there. But what's perfect about those lipstick is the Pacifica ones is they're so creamy and they just come off so easily. I mean, probably not the best for if you're looking for more long wear, but if you don't mind reapplying, they're definitely good for that. So I put the liner on and this is the color. This one has more of a like a metallic-y shade to it. This one is from Mineral Fusion and it has definitely more of a metallic-y shade. Um, so I'm going to just put that on. And I'll tell you how this feels. It definitely is more sheer. Um, it definitely is more sheer. I think it could be a little bit more pigmented. Um, but it could be one of those, like, if you just really want to wear something for work and you don't want to have a lot of lipstick on, this is definitely a shade that's good for that. If you're just running and going. It's creamy, um, but it's really sheer. But it's definitely creamy. Actually, I don't know, I really like it though. It's just, it's sheer, but it's really soft and delicate. And this, this one is called actually Honeysuckle. Honeysuckle is the name. Oops, can you see that? All right, probably can't see that, but that's okay. Um, so this one is called Honeysuckle. And it's really sheer, but it's so pretty. And you can kind of layer it on and it just, it's almost like you have um, moisturizer on your lips. And it's nice because this product is, and it definitely has no parabens in it or um or other just horrible ingredients for you and it does say sir certified organic um is gluten free hyperallergenic um fragrance free artificial color free like you don't get any better than that especially if you're putting stuff on your lips and on your face and and you want to make sure that you're just putting the best stuff on your skin and i'm going to actually wear tenderness today and this, one, this liner is so pigmented. All right. Let's do it just like that. As I continue this vegan journey that I'm on and trying out different makeup looks and bringing these different options to you so that you can also utilize makeup that is not harsh on your skin and is also just, you know, has less harsh chemicals and will be more beneficial to your skin than not. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, like, share. Um, if you like the videos that I am bringing you, definitely share them to a friend that is looking for different options. Um, and love you guys so much and catch you on the next video. Bye.